Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Great having you guys coming back here. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for each one of my subscribers and for new subscribers that choose to stay. And I thank you for your time. I thank you for your patience. The most important, I thank you for your kindness. Um, for every single one of you left comments that we all really enjoy the discussion because again we talk about things that we love and again watch hobby on his own in my personal opinion is an area in my life that we don't just associate that thing with the price tag there are just too many things in our lives you know where we lived what kind of houses do we have what kind of hot cars we drive what kind of jobs do we have and we tend to measure ourselves against others based on the monetary value of lying I understand watch yourself as a hobby you can't escape the price tag, right? You have a $500 watch, you have a $1,000 watches, of course. I continue enjoying what I have in my collection. I love Seiko's, love the brand, love the heritage, love the design, love every single story that I have associated with every single piece. But more importantly, maybe one day I get to step up. Just in the price perspective, maybe one day, of course, the first thing on my grail list is to get the MM300, get the AL movements. Um, as many of my subscribers know, that is definitely something I will buy one day. But more importantly, maybe one day I'll buy an LX Seikos. Maybe one day I'll buy a Grand Seikos. Um, love where the brand is going because I really believe we continue to, um, to treasure, to hold their identity regardless of what's going on in the world and i think as a brand if you truly want to be successful again we'll talk about time from here this is a brand that has been lasting for more than 120 how many years actually more than 140 years as far as concerned so if you want to have a success in the long term you can't be just copycats uh, if you want to have a real success in the long term to influence, to inspire consumers, you can't be the best copycats. You can't, best, you can't be the best copycats in technology and design and it's marketing. you got to be yourself because identity, the character of the brand, that's what attracts long-term loyal customers. And you get people to talk about the brand, talk about the design and the inspiration from watches, and then you have more people coming to the community enjoying the benefits of discussions and the sharing of their passion. And today, on that topic I wanted to talk about, I really like what I'm seeing, especially in the affordable segments of Seiko Prospect, in the sports line, where they're going and the direction they're going. Um, and I understand the critics out there, let me just put it out front, right? The QC issues, uh, the inability to line them up in terms of bezels, in terms of chapter rings, and 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 the inaccuracy of their four hour movements, and sometimes even the six hour thirty five nowadays. And you know what? I'm a testament to that myself. My six hour thirty five is uh, I've got one six hour thirty five in my SPB one four seven. It's actually not as running as close. Uh, to the 7S movements, of course, they can run away with it because before you buy their products, they've they made it very clear the address on the website that our daily uh, their daily variation to to time accuracy is between 25 to 45 seconds. That is a very large range, but good thing to say is most of my 7S, 4R, and 6Rs are fine. It just so they have one here and there that is not doing as well as others. But again, that comes to understanding and the passion, and you know, I'm accommodating to the brand. Of course, I hope they can do better i'm sure they understand that from a quality to control perspective but i really like where the brand is going and let me say this to you right this was actually the first prospect that i purchased the turtle the srp and then i developed further love to the brand of course i start collecting others but when we're looking at the watch like this and we know this is selling the srp is selling really well the turtle reissues there's no doubt about it but in the last five to six years as we know the um the trend of watches has been really diversified by the establishments of many many micro brands micro brands that tends some of the micro brands of course doing better than others but overall um they are they are sort of established the business models based on better spec uh, from of course from internal housing of uh, movement standpoint and um, they're using better spec when it comes to crystals. A majority or even 100% of the micro brands, they're using Sapphire Crystal. Uh, almost all of the micro brands are using Ceramic Bezel. And Seiko from their lineup, uh, Turtle was a huge success. But as we know, people that had SKXs and Turtles, 
uh, many many of the hobbyists and lovers they start modeling them. They start modeling those watches into better spec models, into uh, sapphire crystals, uh, with upgraded even with aftermarket um, bezels into ceramic and different kinds. And from Seiko's perspective. They could have done a couple things. First of all, of course, they acknowledged what's happening out there. They understand the Seiko's community and the enthusiasts that like to upgrade their watches with a better crystal, just in the specs alone. And um, they could have done one or two things. They could have just left things as they are and kept their uh, manufacturing momentum of just based on those simple design, very faithful reissue of turtles. Actually, I think it is a great job they treat the treated the SRP turtles on the the price tag that it has. This watch can, um, guys. Here's the thing, right? This watch, I can confidently say, if they put an announcement tomorrow, the way are discontinuing the what they call that the SRP, SRP now SRP ninety three, the turtles, the black turtle. If they discontinue the black turtle, the turtle will be a thousand dollar watch tomorrow. I can put my hands on heart saying that. Simply because of the supply and demand. Of course, they could have just milking money based on these specs alone. But not only to listen to the hobbyists and passion, at least the portion of people in our hobbies and saying, we want a better spec, give us the sapphire crystal. I want we want a we want a stock, we want a factory ceramic bezel. And we want to keep having what we love, which is the original design and the heritage and the faithful off to its history, but give us better spec. Now they did this, you see, they've made a king version. Of course, the king version has started off about a couple of years ago, actually. But here is the king samurai and here and here is the king turtle. So when they released those two watches, they were big hits. Um, I think from a business standpoint, they were really smart as well. Because they keep making this. For a brand as big as Seiko's, they need to collect data. They need to know what people love. And of course, the most important thing is they need to what customers likes in the long term. Customers likes heritage, faithful reissues, but customers also like new respects, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel. So they're giving us everything stocked, everything factory, and keeping the price tag around that between five to six hundred dollars. Of course, we know we know. Often we can find discounts on the authorized dealers by Seiko's. Really well done, on Seiko's. Of course, in the meantime, they're not just giving us the exactly the same uh, design. Uh, overall, they are keeping the watch as faithful as they can, and at the same time, they are changing things such as dial. Right, we have a beautiful waffle dial here, and guys, I just want to show you this. All right, they're not only changing the bezel insert to ceramic, but they also changed the bezel, the grip of it. The grip on the grip on the king turtle, it is fantastic. It, it, I just find it's a lot more easier to grip. Of course, the loom is just as good as any other Seiko prospects here. So it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful watch, guys. Here's the thing. For our newcomers into the hobby that you're not sure, should you buy an uh, old SKX or should you just buy one of the, uh, the the King version of the King Turtles and Samurais here? If you guys are on the heart of buying one of those, go for it. They have all my support. They are all lovely watches, guys. And here's the thing about Seiko Iconic watches. Every time we think about, should I choose a faithful SKX? Or should I choose a faith, faithful Black Turtle reissue? Or should I go one of those King versions? Because I like Ceramic Crystal. I like how everything just modernized up. That's exactly what we want here. Of course, buy every one of them. That is the true answer for all of them. Because Seiko knows if you desire the the details of the design, uh, the history, the heritage of each line, you, you really got to buy them all, guys. Okay? But... As overall, I really enjoy where the brand is going, and you know what? Hopefully, if you already add a couple of those models in your lineup, and you or you're considering adding them on, I think you should do them all because they are 
a bunch of great watches okay guys so I absolutely love where Seiko is going around around that 500 to a thousand bucks affordable area of course we hope that they can do a better QC control in the future and of course they already addressed that part I'm finding the new turtles for example the King Turtles um, this is perfect you line up uh, chapter ring bezel everything's perfect this one runs about uh, I think three seconds three seconds a faster a day uh, this one's absolutely not as well right but of course we know the skx it's it's not right so it's this is this is a half a click off right so this is half a click off um but it's not it's not a major concern for me to be honest guys so it's half a click on to the side there we go just sort of just leave it there um from a line from a lineman perspective the turtles actually, yeah, slightly bit off as well. But again, it's not a major concern for me. But of course, I hope they do better uh, with their future production. And you know what, guys? Best of luck for your journey of collections. Any questions about any of those watches or, uh, of course, that your thoughts on those King versions, feel free to leave a comments below. I'm sure we'll all join the discussion. And um, have a great Easter, guys. No doubt I'll see you guys very shortly in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.